Hello everyone, this is Anna Shara. I'm reading something today on behalf of Liam Wakeman. To Rusty, Rain, Max and all of you, I apologise for not being in attendance today to offer my condolences in person. My time in SL has been greatly affected since the pandemic. All of my appearances in real life in SL are on indefinite hold and my visits are all too short and far between. So I very much appreciate being able to share a few thoughts in this way. Like all of you, I was so shocked and sorry to hear of Kat's passing. She was such a wonderful friend of the music community in SL. I know that the three of you have a lot of friends here who join me in thanks for the way all of you are honouring Kat today. It would be difficult to measure the impact she's had on all of the lives she's touched here personally and professionally. Not everyone knows that I was one of those lives she touched. Just before the pandemic hit in February of this year, Kat agreed with Anna and myself to begin to represent me in SL. Then the pandemic happened and we had to put everything on hold. I had never worked with Kat before. Her experience and reputation were well known, of course, but it wasn't until we met with her and saw her dedication and love for music shine through in our conversations that I knew we were making the right choice. Of course, working with Kat also meant that I would be interacting with the three of you on a more frequent basis. And as terrifying as that prospect sounded, Kat still managed to convince me to give it a try. I'm kidding, of course. She thought very highly of you, as do I. We all look to make sense of things that happen. We all look for explanations, reasons why. But there is never a good enough reason for those we care about to be taken from us. Please know that you are in my thoughts now and in the future. I'm deeply sorry you lost such a good friend, one who left a very real and lasting legacy. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Rest in peace, Kat. Liam. Thank you. I want to tell everybody, don't be scared, I'm not going to sing. <laughs> um, I just want to thank everybody that's been involved with this. It has been, it's been amazing. This tribute to Kat has just blown me away. There are no words to say what an awesome lady she was and what she meant to everybody she came in contact with. You always knew where she stood and what she thought about things. I love that in her. I met her here in SL. Then a couple of jams, then, you know, I had a couple of jams in Florida. Um, after that, her and I started going on cruises We've for the last six years. And um, I remember her saying, we were sitting on the balcony at 8 o'clock in the morning, and her saying, hey, it's 5 o'clock somewhere, let's go get a mimosa. So we headed off and got a mimosa, and our day went downhill from there. <laughs> um because of that, I have so many memories of her. We were laughing and joking about our cruise that was coming up in January only a couple of days before this happened. She will be so very missed. I feel so blessed and, and just so honored to have known her in real life along with SL. I will always remember the last day I saw her after our last cruise how I got to hug her and tell her I loved her. She will never be forgotten by me or many of you when you think of her. It will have to bring a big smile to your face like she always had on her face. Again, I want to thank all of you for showing up, for showing your love and devotion, and especially those that wrote things on her memorial wall. I, her family told me they were, some of them were read at her real life memorial. I feel so honored and privileged to have known her. I will, I will never forget her and always love her, as the rest of you will too. 
Again, I want to thank you so much for being here. And before you all leave, take one second and think in your head of one of your favorite cat stories. It will bring a smile to your face. I love you all and thank you. We love you, cat.